Justin Martyr on Baptism, and Christian Media. I shall now explain our method of dedicating ourselves to God after we've been created anew through Christ. All who accept and believe as true the things taught and said by us, and who undertake to have the power to live accordingly, are taught to pray and entreat God, fasting for the forgiveness of their former sins, while we join in their prayer and fasting. Then we bring them to a place where there is water, where they are regenerated in the same way as we were. For they then make their ablution in the water in the name of God the Father and Lord of all, and of our Savior Jesus Christ, and of the Holy Spirit. When we have thus washed a man who has accepted the teaching and has made his profession of faith, we bring him to those who are called brethren, where they are assembled, to offer prayers in common for ourselves, for the person thus illuminated, and for all others everywhere, with might and main, that we who have learnt the truth may be granted to prove, through our deeds also, good citizens and keepers of the commandments, that we may obtain eternal salvation. At the end of prayers, we embrace each other with a kiss. Then bread is brought to the president of the brethren and a cup of water and wine. This he takes and offers praise and glory to the Father of all, through the name of his Son and of the Holy Spirit. And he gives thanks at length for our being granted these gifts at his hand. When he has finished the prayers and the thanksgiving, all the people present give their assent with Amen, a Hebrew word signifying so be it. When the president has given thanks and all the people have assented, those whom we call deacons give a portion of the bread over which thanksgiving has been offered and of the wine and water to each of those who are present, and they carry them away to those who are absent. This food is called Eucharist, that is, thanksgiving, with us, and only those who are allowed to partake, who believe in the truth of our teaching, and have received the washing for the remission of sins and for regeneration, and who live in accordance with the directions of Christ. We do not receive these gifts as ordinary food or ordinary drink, but as Jesus Christ our Savior was made flesh through the word of God and took flesh and blood for our salvation. In the same way the food over which thanksgiving has been offered through the word of prayer which we have from him, the food by which our blood and flesh are nourished through its transformation, is, we are taught, the flesh and blood of Jesus who was made flesh. After these things, we always remind each other of them, And those of us who have means assist all who are in want, and we visit each other continually. And for all that we receive, we bless the Maker of all things, through His Son, Jesus Christ, and through the Holy Spirit. And on the day which is called the Son's Day, there is an assembly of all who live in the towns or the country, and the memoirs of the apostles or the writings of the prophets are read, as much as time permits. When the reader is finished, the president gives a discourse, admonishing us and exhorting us to imitate these excellent examples. Then we all rise together and offer prayers, and, as I said above, on the conclusion of our prayer, bread is brought, and wine and water, and the president similarly offers up prayers and thanksgiving to the best of his power, and the people assent with Amen. Then follows the distribution of the Eucharistic gifts and the partaking of them by all, and they are sent to the absent by the hands of the deacons. The well-to-do who wish to give, give of their own free choice, and each decides the amount of his contribution. This collection is deposited with the president who gives aid to the orphans and widows and all who are in want through sickness or any other case. He is also the protector of those in prison, of strangers from abroad, in fact of all in need of assistance. We hold our common assembly on the sun's day because it is the first day on which God put to flight darkness and chaos and made the world. And on the same day, Jesus Christ, our Savior, rose from the dead. For they crucified him on the day before Saturn's day, and on the sun's day, which follows Saturn's, he appeared to his apostles and disciples, and taught them these things, which we have handed on to you for your consideration.